The Smith River enters the Pacific Ocean near the Oregon-California border, just north of the town of Crescent City. It drains approximately 700 square miles of some of the most remote and rugged coastal mountains in Northern California and Southern Oregon. The Mill Creek Forest is famous for its large stand of old growth redwoods, home to some of the largest and oldest trees on earth. But in the neighboring watershed of Cedar Creek, beneath the same majestic redwoods, a steep culvert has blocked a pristine salmon and trout stream since 1949. Cutthroat trout wait in the outlet pool beneath a curtain of bubbles, hoping for an opportunity to move upstream. But this culvert is impassable. Even the agile steelhead trout can't make it through this pipe. In addition to the moderate leap, the water flowing through the steep culvert is going so fast that any fish that manages to make the leap is immediately washed back out again. This culvert was a complete barrier for nearly 60 years. Chinook and coho salmon can't make it through either. But in 2007, the old culvert was removed and replaced with a 65-foot-long steel bridge, reopening over a mile of stream channel in an undisturbed old-growth redwood forest. After nearly three years of site assessment, design, and permitting, the project began on September 13, 2007, with crews from the California Conservation Corps coming in to relocate native plants, ferns, and small trees. A few days later, biologists from the California Department of Fish and Game arrived to relocate salamanders and frogs and any juvenile salmon or trout residing in the construction area. All of the aquatic organisms were collected and then released off-site where they would not be bothered by the construction process. When the Fish and Game crews finished, all was clear for the heavy equipment work to start. First, they brought in nearly 90 tons of large rock to be used in the new roughened channel and to protect the new bridge abutment. On September 17th, the digging began. First, the road fill was excavated using a hydraulic excavator and dump trucks and a multi-terrain loader. When the culvert was finally exposed, it was pulled out with a cable and hauled away. After the old culvert was removed, channel reconstruction began. The design at this site called for a roughened channel, which buries a series of rock ribs below the channel surface. This guarantees a channel gradient that will be passable by all aquatic species. Reconstructing the channel and placing the riprap along the banks is a long, slow process. After nearly three weeks, the channel and bank protection work was complete and the footings were prepared for the new bridge. The construction crane arrived on October 10th to install the pair of 65-foot steel spans onto concrete footings. This design option requires a hefty placement of large rock to protect the footings from being undermined by storm flows. With the new bridge in place, railings were attached and asphalt surfacing was applied. Now, both traffic passage and fish passage are restored. Within a month, the rains came, bringing enough water into Cedar Creek to attract salmon and steelhead once again. As in prior years, Chinook salmon swam up from the Smith River, but instead of finding a culvert blocking their way, they found gravels suitable for spawning. 
Five fish were observed below the new bridge on December 5, 2007. A natural log step was exposed upstream of the culvert as a result of channel adjustments, but both steelhead and Chinook salmon got over it during high flows and headed upstream to spawn. Snorkel surveys conducted during the summertime documented the presence of many juvenile trout as well as one of the first coho salmon naturally reared in Cedar Creek in nearly 60 years.